Hey Mike, this video is for you and this is the uh, quick report on your beautiful Ducati. <laughs> Someone racing a bike out there. Okay, uh, it's a kind of a, a list so I'm going to try to make it as quickly as possible. Uh, you brought it in for a chain... Um, yeah, chain lube oil and filter and a general checkover. Your front tire, 19 years old, is all cracked up. Your rear tire, 17 years old. It's not cracked up yet, but it's 17 years old. It won't be long before it is. Uh, your front, your clutch lever bolt is literally uh, about to come out. It's also set too tight here, which is probably why you, you've been mentioning that uh, your bike doesn't accelerate. It's not as fast as it should be. It's because your clutch is potentially slipping. There's a little gap here between the, sorry, between this, between the actual lever and the master cylinder, which is this guy here. And because there's no gap there, the clutch is always being pushed on. Even when you let the clutch all the way out, it's always pushing on, which means the clutch potentially is slipping. <clears throat> Um, your left front signal is not working and your right rear signal is not work. Right rear signal is not working. Your front brake light switch doesn't work, but your rear brake light switch does. And there's an oil leak coming from the sight glass. Both of the intake manifolds on the bike are leaking. I can see they're wet. Your bike is also not charging, which I'll show you. That's why the seat is off and the meter is just waiting for that. Uh, and the right front brake rotor is actually rubbing. Uh, I think it's probably on the brake caliper. I, I'm not sure. We'll take a look at that. And uh, both of the dust covers on both of your fork legs are completely worn out. Okay, so let's get to the charging system really fast here. There's your standing voltage right now, 12.53. We're going to start the bike, and hopefully it'll run first because it's a little fussy, these old Italians. You know what I mean? <laughs> There it is, your bike's at idle, and this is the uh, voltage that it makes at idle speed. So 12.13 is technically a pass, but it's a very, very, very weak number. That's at uh, low beam, this is high beam. And I gotta reach down to get the rear brake light switch to work. So there's high beam, rear brake light switch, and there's your failed number. So your bike is not charging. <clears throat> I'm gonna give it a little bit of throttle here just by pulling on the cable. Come on. There we go. So this is about 1500 RPM. And this is just barely a passing number. It's 2,000 RPM, 3,000 RPM, and that's a great number right there. That's what we want to see. But every time you come to a traffic light, your bike just starts to slip down, 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 down. The voltage just keeps going down. So in my opinion, you've got a charging issue, and we got to figure out what that is. But uh, it's, it's, uh, it's not good. Okay, let me turn that off. We're going to bring the bike up here. <clears throat> And I apologize if the lighting is really bad. Uh, I'm not a cameraman, I'm a bike mechanic. Okay, so here we are in the dark and you can see this fork seal right here, or dust cover right here. You can see that, whoops, that there are some cracks on it. Zoom in, yeah, woo, look at that. Um, now, a cracked dust cover is not the end of the world, but it does encourage dirt and moisture to go inside there and ruin the fork seals. And they're not leaking yet. You can see they're all dry. They're not leaking yet, but as long as those cracks are in there, you're basically inviting them to start leaking. If you nip this in the bud, you'll, you won't have to do fork seals. Just replace the dust covers. You save like 300 bucks in labor uh, and both legs. Uh, I can't show you this other leg. Yeah, there it is. You see the cracks on it there. And I don't know if you could see way up inside there. Uh, that's the intake manifold right there. Um, a little bit to the, the fat pipe top right. And you see how oh, the lighting is terrible. You see how wet it is. You've got definitely got a leak up in there. Okay, so let's go around to the front of the bike. Let's zoom back out. Oops, that's too far. <laughs> All right, here we are at your front brake rotor. And uh, you can see on the rivets, lighting focus, 
Yeah, okay, you can see on the rivets here. You see where it's clearly being scratched on, uh, and it's it's consistent on every single one of them. And obviously, you know, the rotor goes around like that, and it's rubbing, in my best opinion, it's rubbing on this bolt down here. Um, I put the camera up inside, but it's like, you you, you can see what's going on. It's, it's clearly, it's rubbing on this one here. So I think the easiest fix for this would be to remove this bolt, shave it down just a little bit so that there's clearance and put it back in. But the real question is, why is this happening? And I can't help thinking, looking at this much axle sticking out of the fork leg, that the axle was not installed properly. And as a result, the wheel is literally moving back and forth, sliding on the axle here. I don't know this for sure. I'm just saying based on what I'm seeing, I think this is probably the answer because this is a factory faster here. These two, these are from Ducati. So it doesn't make sense that this bolt would be so long that it would rub on these rivets every time the rotor goes around. So something's just not lined up. Uh, it's probably just a minor adjustment, but it really should be taken care of because uh, braking is very important. Not broken, but you know what I mean, brakes. Uh, this is the sight glass. This is where you will determine how much oil is in the bike. And you can clearly see that it's wet. And um, the lighting is... There you go. So it's a slow leak, but it's still an oil leak. And that's some very expensive oil you got in there. Uh, we want to make sure that you can keep it and use it. And uh, yeah, that's pretty pretty important. Also down here, this is the uh, oil filter for your bike. And you can see the amount of wetness under here. There's some kind of leak happening up inside there. So uh, at your discretion. I mean, I know we're doing an oil change. And we're going to look into this. But I just want to let you know that these have been my findings. All right, sir. So I think that's everything. I told you how old the tires were. Uh, brake pads, by the way, are wearing very nicely. Front and rear. Uh, this rear pad has about 30% life left in it. I know the lighting's terrible, but I'm, you know, I'm not a cameraman. And um, I told you about the signals. I told you about the charging system. And yeah, that's it, man. Okay, I will talk to you later.